welcome to Stacy's Homestead, and I got myself another grocery haul delivery. So this is my, I get one big one usually a month, and then I do like weekly ones. So this is like my big one, my big paycheck one, right? So we're gonna first start off with Sam's Club. Usually I get most of my stuff shipped from Sam's Club. They just have the best deals and their bulk things and stuff. But way better than, I mean, Walmart's good, but I, I think they're associated <laughs> anyways. But um, yeah, I, I get, it's even cheaper than Costco. Like the same things will be cheaper than Costco. So, um, and then I get like most of my like fresh and specialty items from Costco. So I have one more box to open here. And oh yeah, I got a raisin brand. It's just ridiculous sometimes how they just box a box. But all right, so I got a raisin brand cereal here from Sam's Club. So this was not on sale. I just sometimes, you know, as a kid I ate raisin bran here and there, and it just sometimes you just want to have it, you know. So I got me some of that. And then let's see, let's get the boxes out of the way. And we have some Famous Days Cornbread Mix. Now, I like this mix. It comes with the four pouches inside, and it's really good. I still get the ones, the small boxes that you get at the dollar store. Um, and then I also have cornmeal and stuff for when I want to make my own from scratch. But it's nice to have the dump and go one, you know. And then we have our Idaho Taters. You know, dry instant potatoes are really good for long-term storage. So, um, if you can't grow your own tatas and you need to put something back, uh, Idaho tatas, these last for years. I mean, they'll last for a very, very long time. So this, the expiration on this, I mean, the store expiration is, this is May 2023 on here. So, I mean, it's really good to go. And just stock up on that if you, you know, worried about having food and stuff. It's always like, you know, the, the um, potatoes, like in the old days, they say plant potatoes in hard times. But, you know, a lot of people don't have gardens, so just buy instant potatoes. It'll probably last better because, <laughs> um, and, you know, if you can't can, uh, instant potatoes is your best bet. And they taste good. So, in my family, we've, like, like prepping is like a culture so it's not like I don't even consider me being a, like a prepper my mom like would have just a cabinets of food and in the garage like it, it food like shelves of food and then my grandma the same thing we go grocery shopping at the canned food warehouse and stock up like on canned foods and and um, we people would just stare at us. We just load our carts up, and then but she would her cabinets were always full. And if I needed food, I just go, to, you know, shopping at my grandma's. <laughs> and then uh, so they taught me to do that. And I also live in the country, and it takes an hour to get to the nearest grocery store that's even reasonable priced. So I've always it's just easier for me, and this is a cultural thing for me too. I've always been taught to store your food for you know hard times at least a year's worth if you're going to do it that it's always a good idea no matter what um and, but for me that way i don't have to drive an hour to the store i have my food here and you know when you have a family you get uh, used to buying stuff like that and most of my kids are out of the house and i still shop the same as if they were home but at least I have it, you know. So yeah, for me, it's more like something that I've been—it's been passed down. I just—it just is, you know. My grandma grew up in the Depression in the Dust Bowl. And it's just something that she taught me to do, and I've always done it. So I just keep on doing it. Um. So that being said, let's get going on this. So here's. I got some cornstarch, you know, cornstarch is good for canning um, and when you can't use flour. And then they have modified cornstarch too, like Thermaflow that I'll use. I get that from Amazon or your Amish stores. And then um, 
Uh, let's see. Um, it's good for thickening soups when you don't want too much flour in your soups. This takes half of the flour. So like if a recipe calls for one cup of flour, you would do a half a cup of cornstarch. So it just cuts down on the thickening agents you need to use in like recipes as well. So got that. And then we got our baking powder, the Clabber Girl baking powder. It's a good deal. I mean, it's like two of these. It's like four bucks for two of these. That's They're big. They're two pound, two two pounder. Oh no, they're one pound each. So it's two pounds. So on here. Well, that's a good deal. And then I have, I got, um, I, I got yeast from them too, and uh, yeast will stay good in your freezer for years. So on the, uh, for bread making, so buy yeast and just put it in your freezer. It's only like two bucks. It's always good to have. So, anyways, and I got some, I always get raw and unfiltered honey. Thought I'd try this. It's a different brand, but it's Fisher's. Seems like a good one. It was a good price. I don't pay. I try to. I'm cheap. So when I get grocery shopping, I try to. I look around for the best deals. So, I mean, I'll check at every store <laughs> before I purchase anything. I usually have a good um, memory of the cost at each store, though. So, this isn't the cheapest honey you're going to get, is at Sam's Club. So, I got that. And let's put this aside. Put it aside. Okay. And then, okay, so I got a couple cans of this. So this is the ketchup. And you wonder why I need this big of a thing of ketchup. It's because I make my own barbecue sauce. And I ran out and one of the main ingredients for it is ketchup. And it's just easier to buy a can of this. So when I make my barbecue sauce, um, I'm not dumping a bunch of plastic bottles in it. So, yeah, this is, I'm going to get ready to make some homemade barbecue sauce. And, uh, this, um, ketchup is pretty good. It was only $3. Sam's Club delivers it, so. I wish they delivered the number 10 cans of, like, tomatoes, sauces, and stuff, but they don't. I'll have to go to the store and get those. Um, that's the one thing I buy is I buy canned tomatoes, like canned tomatoes, because I would never in my life be able to grow enough tomatoes for all the tomatoes I need. So, and then I'm like, why canned tomatoes just to open it up to can again in another recipe? Because a lot of my recipes call for tomatoes. So, and tomatoes is one of those things that get healthier the more you can them. So, that's good. But I like, um, I'll get like tomato sauce and um, diced tomatoes, like in big cans for recipes that um, I need to can up. Like, uh, I'll, I'll even do salsa. I'll just buy already chopped up cans of um, tomatoes to make my own salsa. It's just a lot easier. In the, the, on the jars, tomatoes is one of the things that you can get with no extra ingredients added to it. So... Here's tomato paste I got. See, tomato paste. It takes a whole lot of tomatoes to make tomato paste. So, and I, I grow tomatoes too. But you have your, I use my fresh tomatoes for my um, homemade tomato soup and my squash tomatoes um, with basil and I make stewed tomatoes and all that with my homemade. Um, I do my own homemade stewed tomatoes and uh, with my, the ones I grow in my garden. But anyways, you can get um, tomato products with no other preservatives. The only thing they'll have is absorbic acid in it, and that's what you want to put in anyways. So um, just read the labels because then you have some that actually might have extra. But these, this is a good brand. Um, got this from Sam's Club, uh, red gold tomato paste. I always use tomato paste to thicken things up when I make my homemade spaghetti sauce too for my garden. I'll use a tomato paste here to help thicken it up and flavor it. 
and just read your ingredients. And it's usually tomatoes, uh, canned tomatoes are like pretty healthy because they don't put other preservatives in it. They don't need to. All right. So, you know, I got some grits. You know these grits? The grits are a good thing to have. Even if you don't eat them, I mean, it's only $3 for this. It's only $3 for three bags of grits. And it's a good food storage item. I mean, really. And it's the quick five minute grits. If you don't, if you never had them, learn to make them. They're really, really good if you make it right. And, uh, but it's one of those items that stores really well. You can put them in jars, vacuum seal it, mylar bag it. Stores really good. I mean, I just keep it like this, and it'll keep in my cabinet for just like this for over a year. But if I want to store it longer than a year, I'll like um, put them in mylar bags, keep them in here, and then put it in your mylar bags, and then seal it, and then it's good to go. So, and um, the ingredients are germinated white corn, grits, uh, reduced iron, uh, folic acid, and one of the B vitamins. And monoitrate, I'm not sure what that is, but that doesn't seem too bad as ingredients goes. So get yourself some grits, I mean like three bucks, really. A good food storage item. So. And then, oh, um, let's see, oh, I got some of those coffees called Community Coffee. And I like, usually have the Kirkland brand coffee but sometimes I switch it up, and this is a good coffee. This is made, I believe, in New Orleans. So, um, it's a, a really good coffee to have, and it was on sale. So I got that, and I put my coffees in the freezer. You just buy extra coffee when it's on sale and put it in your freezer um, to, to keep the freshness, because it's already ground. But if you want to store coffee, like for later, like for, you know, you're prepping, then just buy the beans. Don't buy it already ground up. If you want to store it for like a long time, you know. And then, oh, they have their coconut oil. It's half off. $7 off. So, coconut oil, get your coconut oil. Got some extra coconut oil. Let's see. Uh, let's do this box. We got croutons. These ha They're the best croutons, and they're like... Three dollars too. I mean, give or take some change. Depends on you know the sale at the time, but good stuff. And it lasts a long time because it's just dried bread. It doesn't go stale. <laughs> it's dirty still. So, but yeah, really good stuff to have for your salads. And then, um, oh, I got some masa, and masa is good to have on hand. It's a really, it's most of the cornmeal that's finely like ground. And you can make your tamales with it and homemade um, corn tortillas. And um, you can like make a soup. There's a recipe for soup. There's other recipes on here um, that you can do. But uh, it's good to have if you want to, you know, store this too. And flour products like this. Um, cornmeal and flour products. I pop in my freezer for a couple weeks. I mean, you only need it for two days to kill anything off. And then it'll store for a long time. I don't even have to, uh, you know, do all the, um, all that jazz with the mylar bags and stuff. I'll just, I can even, um, put it in, in a jar, you know, so... Or I just vacuum seal it in a like one of these plastic bags things. You vacuum seal it in the plastic bag like this. You buy these in rolls. I use it for my meats. You know, it's good to go. So I'll store for a couple of years, year or two at least, and probably more. If you freeze it, then um, when you take it out of the freezer, let it sit on your counter for a bit. I guess to make sure there's no moisture in it and dry out and then put it in the then um, vacuum seal it or buy their bag it or put it in a jar or just keep it like this it'll stay in the bag for a year so probably more than a year 
for this right here. And I got some sun butter. Sun butter is some good stuff. It's really healthy for you. Um, so it's sunflower seed butter. It's one of those healthy uh, alternatives to if anybody has a nut allergy, um, you want to get sunflower seed, um, peanut butter. But it's really good for you. It actually has more um, of your nutrients in it. I think more iron and and um, all those all that good stuff that your body needs. So um, I think this is one of the healthiest uh, peanut butter products out there. Nut butter products. So I got that, and then, oh, then I got regular peanut butter, and this is their um, Sam's Club Natural No Stir Peanut Butter Spread. I get that, you know, I was getting the, here's the phone, hold on. Better not be telemarketer. All right, so I got this peanut butter it's from Sam's Club, and it's a healthy peanut butter. Um, I used to get the peanut butter from Costco, their their organic peanut butter, but it's so like hard to stir and get the oils back in because the oils are separated and it's just a chore. So this is the next best thing. Um, it's made with sea salt and cane sugar. And I mean, it, you know, the one at Costco has no sugar in it if you want that, but it's just really hard to stir. I have to get my immersion blender sometimes in there, but. I like this one. This one's the next next healthiest one, and it has good oils. It doesn't use the bad oils that other um, Skippy and Jiffy use. So you have to watch your peanut butters because the oils they use are very bad for you. You have to see what kind of oil is in there. Um, so this one I think yeah just uses regular peanut oil. It says roasted peanut sugar and. Um, Palm oil and sea salt. Palm oil is not that bad for you. Actually, it's a good oil. It's healthy for you. It's just bad for the environment, I think. I don't know. So, let me, I think, let me, I don't, I'm trying to see what kind of oil the other peanut butter. Let me look at that real fast. Yeah. Let me see. So I have a jar of Skippy here because it was given to me. Roasted peanut, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's the deal, okay? So this one was given to me by my um, aunt and uncle when they moved, and I, my husband likes it, but I won't eat it because it's the hydrogenated vegetable oil that's really bad for you, super bad for you in it. And palm oil is way better for, me, for you, okay? Your body can't digest these oils. It's good. It's very... And then it also has um, so soybean oil and um, it has all kinds of different oils. Well, so soybean oil, it's like it has all kinds of like it's just not good for you. I can't read. So this Skippy, which was given to me, and I don't eat and I won't give it to my kids. My husband eats it though. He doesn't seem to care. Roasted peanuts, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil, and doesn't even say organic sugar. It's just sugar, which is probably beet sugar they're using. And then um, uh, cotton seed. They put cotton seed in it. Soybean and uh, grape seed oil to prevent separation, salt, and another ingredient. I can't read it, but it's just no good. So this one, all it is is roasted peanuts. Um, it says organic pure cane sugar and palm oil and sea salt. Way better for you. So much better for you, and it tastes really good. So, um... And then what's this use? And this one oil. This this one. I don't see. I'm. I gotta get my glasses on to see. Oh, it says roasted sunflower seeds, sugar, and salt. This doesn't even have have added oil to it. So this is good stuff. 
All right, and I'm sure the Costco peanut butter, the next, the healthiest one is that Costco organic peanut butter that you have to really like get in there and stir and they don't put sugar in. And um, I think they just use a peanut oil and probably a little bit of palm oil too. So there's that, my, my discussion about peanut butter. My, my son, my oldest son uh, took a health class years ago and he was like, mom, that peanut butter is not good for you. And I did research and he was right. So anyways, next we got, oh, I had to get, so I just like to get this for, this is for my son when he comes home because he likes raspberry iced tea. I got him a different brand last time. It was a little bit more sweeter. It was off brand from Sam's Club. Um, maybe it was Nisco. I'm not sure, but it, I don't know if he liked it so much. So I'm getting Lipton, and um, only Sam's Club carries this as, as far as I know. But it's Lipton iced tea raspberry flavor. So I got this for my son when he comes home. I'll put it away so no one drinks it. My oldest son. He's in, uh, in the Marines and he's away, so I got Gatorade for my husband. He likes this, and these powders are always good to have, you know. They store forever as long as, look at Sam's Club. They put plastic wrap all around it. They, like, seal it really good when they deliver it in, like, this plastic. So it's cool because it, it makes it easier for you to store at home. It won't get moisture in it. So that's awesome. So this, because they vacuum seal it and this plastic stuff, there's no holes at all, all the way around. Will last a, quite a while stored. So there's that stuff. And then, oh, I got, um, this is cheaper than Costco's. So I got Parmesan cheese. I usually like to get the freshly grated, but also good to have this too. And let's see, I got a lot this time from Sam's Club. And then I got, um, they, you have to buy two sometimes of their products. So I got tuna, two things of tuna. That's it for Sam's Club. And then um, let's go on to, oh, that sriracha, <laughs> I almost forgot sriracha. Got two things of sriracha, it's good to have, spice things up. And so we got Costco, I had a, delivery is too much for me at Costco, so if I do um, same day delivery, it's a lot cheaper, and I get almost close in warehouse pricing, like just a little bit extra, sometimes only a few cents extra. So, um, this is on sale, so I got the tea. These are gallon bag teas, and I got these ones because um, of my kombucha. I need to um, make a lot of tea, so instead of opening a bunch of little tea bags, I got the gallon size ones just to help me when I make my kombucha, because kombucha takes tea and sugar, and it ferments that, and that's the, the main ingredients of kombucha. And then, so they, that was delivered, same day delivery. And then I got my Clorox. And I never get tied. You know, I made my own um, laundry detergent for a couple years. I was into doing that. And um, I just stopped doing it <laughs> like a year ago and started buying commercial laundry detergents. But I still have this stuff. If I ever need to, I know how to do it. And it works good. It just... You know, um, just takes time. You have to stir it up and mix it all together. But yeah, I, I can do that if I needed to. But I'm back to now with just, you know, my older kids out of the house and my youngest one home. I just decided to just go ahead and start buying it again. So um, I never get Tide. Tide's always like the most expensive. I like to get all, all is reasonable priced. Um, but. Tide actually was on sale when I got this for like fifteen dollars. So and normally it's in a st like twenty. So I just thought I'd get it. And my oldest son is allergic to Tide, so I wasn't. I never used that when he was younger. I don't think he is anymore. He has sensitive skin, but so I got that. And then I got sardines. Got these were on sale. Got some sardines. And uh, same day delivery. 
And then I got, ugh, I already got into it, but I got cranberry juice. And I thought I'd try the strawberry banana. So I already opened one of them each. But that's my grocery haul for uh, my month. Uh, just my big one, and then I'll get what I needed as, you know, once a week. So, but that's all of my stuff, and we'll just talk to you later. And don't forget to subscribe. Okie dokie. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.